Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my blockchain channel and today we're going to talk about Rootstock or RSK. We're going to talk about why is it important and why you should care guys. Let's get into it. So before we get into Rootstock, let's talk about the differences between Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin is a blockchain technology for transferring value. We can send the Bitcoins and that is digital money. So we can transfer value from from ourselves to our friends and it works like money. And Ethereum is a platform for decentralized applications. On Ethereum, we can write uh, applications and they run in a decentralized uh, fashion, meaning that uh, there is no central entity that runs the code. The code is run, uh, is executed on uh, on the blockchain and all of the nodes execute the code. So there is no central entity or, or um, organization or server that can be uh, shut down. So that is Ethereum, a platform for decentralized applications. And it has its own programming language called Solidity. And the good thing with Solidity is that it is Turing complete, meaning that you can build any kind of application in Solidity, guys. It has all of the features that uh, languages like Java or C++ have. And um, so such languages are called Turing complete uh, when they are uh, so when they have all the features uh, so that you can use this language to build any kind of application. Uh, so that that is a Turing complete language and Solidity is a Turing complete language. Bitcoin, on the other hand, uh, has a scripting language that is not Turing complete. And so we can send Bitcoins from a wallet to another wallet. That is the basic feature of Bitcoin. However, we can also write simple scripts, for example, that some condition should should be true in order for some bitcoins to go to an address. So we can add some basic logic to the Bitcoin blockchain. However, because the Bitcoin scripting language is not Turing complete, we cannot write any kind of decentralized application and we cannot write any kind of smart contract on Bitcoin like we can do on Ethereum. And this is where Rootstock comes in. Rootstock wants to be a, a platform for decentralized applications and smart contracts on Bitcoin, uh, much like Ethereum is. And uh, so how, how will this work? One way would be to do a hard fork of Bitcoin and add some new features and add all these new uh, programming languages to Bitcoin and do a hard fork. However, that would be very risky because a hard fork uh, is risky in, in in the sense of uh, that you need to make people up to upgrade and that is a, a lot of work and the risk is high to to break up the network in several uh, parts so we don't want to do a hard fork and what rootstock uh, proposes is instead a side chain to bitcoin and by having a side chain we can transfer bitcoins from the usual, the normal uh, Bitcoin blockchain to Rootstock uh, blockchain. And so this Rootstock blockchain would be able to execute such uh, smart contracts. Uh, and by, by mining these contracts, uh, by acting as a node that executes these contracts, you would then earn Bitcoin. So there will be no new currency, no new coin that will be launched with the Rootstock blockchain. Rootstock will be a sidechain to Bitcoin and Bitcoins will be used as, as value on Rootstock. Uh, and so this, uh, this is a benefit i would say that they are using bitcoin and not coming up with their own uh, uh, cryptocurrency because by using bitcoin they actually uh, benefit from from security and from the size of the bitcoin blockchain today today bitcoin is the largest and most secure blockchain because of all the nodes and so many miners that are mining it currently and um, by having a sidechain rootstock will use that to to their benefit uh, 
And so the idea is also to be backwards compatible with Ethereum. So smart contracts that, uh, that are running on Ethereum would be very easily to port to Rootstock because the same source code, Solidity source code that is running on Ethereum would also run on Rootstock. So I'm really excited about Rootstock. I, I think that if they succeed in making this a reality, uh, th this would skyrocket the Bitcoin price, in my opinion. I'm not financial and a financial advisor or anything of that sort. Uh, so don't, don't quote me on that. However, uh, I have a feeling that if we can take Bitcoin and add so many more use cases, because with a, with, a, with a platform such as Rootstock, where you can write any kind of application, guys, any kind of decentralized application, the value of Bitcoin would become so much more than just money. It would be a fuel for, for these uh, decentralized applications as well. And so um, th that, in my opinion, could, uh, could skyrocket th the price. And the price has already skyrocketed uh, in just a couple of weeks and so uh we'll see we'll see how that plays out what do you think guys what are your uh, views on a side chain that will act as a platform for decentralized applications uh just like ethereum is however this rootstock platform would be run on uh on top of the bitcoin blockchain like a side chain so it will not be a new an entirely new uh, blockchain with their own currency. It will be pegged two way, two way pegged to Bitcoin. So you could transfer Bitcoin to Rootstock, and then you could transfer Rootstock uh, currency back to Bitcoin. Uh, and this is also a benefit because there are so many alt uh, altcoins that fail, and they take funds and investors, and then it just fails. Uh, however, with this, you could then, if you invest in Rootstock and you buy this Rootstock currency, you could then transfer uh, funds back to Bitcoin uh, and use it as, as Bitcoins again. So there are some, um, there are some uh, benefits to being a sidechain to Bitcoin instead of being an entirely own blockchain as Ethereum. However, Ethereum is very much further in the development. We have uh, a strong Ethereum community of developers that are, that are developing Ethereum and are writing smart contracts on Ethereum. So in that sense, Ethereum is far, far ahead of Rootstock. And so uh, that is a reason why I think Rootstock chose to be backwards compatible with Ethereum. They want to harness all of these developers and all of this community and all of this knowledge that is currently uh, people are currently learning Solidity and uh, writing smart contracts for Ethereum. So Rootstock want to take this knowledge and talent and just uh, transfer them to Rootstock. Or maybe not really transfer. I'm not sure what their philosophy is if they want to be the only decentralized uh, uh, a platform for decentralized uh, application or if they want to coexist with Ethereum. Uh, however, the backwards comp compatibility with Ethereum would really uh, give them so much talent and so much, uh, so many developers that already know how to do Ethereum contracts. Another aspect of Rootstock is that they're promising uh, high, uh, a very high number of transactions per second. In fact, I have it here. Uh, let me see transactions. Yeah, so they aim for 300 transactions per second at launch, and then they want to scale to a thousand transactions per second. And if you compare that to Ethereum, Ethereum is currently at 15 transactions per second. And so if they if they can leverage their this promise of 300 transactions per second, and I as, as a developer could take my contract from Ethereum and just copy paste it to Rootstock, um, it would really incentivize me, I think, to, 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 to transfer to Rootstock. And I will link this Medium article in the description, guys, so you, can, so you can read more about Rootstock. However, there is no code released yet for Rootstock, and it's still in the development. So it's, I mean, it's easy for them to make promises of 300 transactions per second. Uh, and so we will see if they deliver on that, on that promise. However, if they can do it, it will be 
very, very significant to the whole Bitcoin ecosystem. Um, but as I said, guys, we have not seen anything from Rootstock yet, except for for the idea and um, yeah, and they 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 have explained their uh, uh, plans and ideas. However, not demonstrated any code or uh, or prototype of the network as far as uh, as far as I know. Uh, so, what do you think? Write your comments in the comment section below. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, you like Ethereum, Bitcoin, you like technology as a whole, you should definitely subscribe, guys, because you will find this channel interesting. I myself am a software developer and I post videos every single day, guys. So today we talked about Rootstock, this new upcoming platform for decentralized applications. I'll see you guys tomorrow.